So um, in terms of the prompt, uh, is this the biggest struggle that AI has um, in creating content or is, uh, is there another issue somewhere else in the, um, in the creation process? So to respond to your question, this is actually a great question, Megan, it, it, is that there are three parts to it. There's prompting, there's the output, there's call to assurance, and that leads to another, another loop of prompting and then output and then call to assurance. This is a recurring loop. When we typically put stuff into tools like ChatGPT or other generative AI tools, we expect a style of output. And when we, when we don't see that, we then do QA on it and we work on our prompts, for example, again, to modify them. Or we realize that the data we provide is not enough, so we add more data to it. Sometimes it understands because it has the context of what we're looking for, but many a times, to be precise, to be thorough, you need it to be, to be provided with the requirement and the input. That's one. Number two, which is a very important part of prompt engineering, is how do you format the output? There are several courses on that where one has to clearly define how do you want the output. I'm not talking about straight up table or not, but also giving it sequences, for example, so that it doesn't give us unexpected results. Especially really important when you're programming mm -hmm. with AI, because in AI programming or programming and using AI tools within it, you need to have standardized outputs. So all that requires several levels of experimentation and only human can tell you if the results they see is correct. And if it's not, then they will reiterate on that process and add some more prompts. And that is a very creative job. And this is why it's a bit of a science, a bit of an art. 